So don't be joking my uh, pencil drawing of the angel that I did. I did it many years ago and all I did, I just drew it on one of those manila envelopes with some cheap, you know, those dry cheap pencils. You know, no paint. I didn't have any paint, any acrylic paint, oil paint, or I didn't have any, um, just cheap, you know, a cheap pack of colored pencils, man. That's all I had. And all I had to draw on was, like I said, one of those yellow envelopes. That's what that's on. So, I hope you see that I've got some kind of skill. But, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's more like a Van Gogh than a, uh, you know, <laughs> like a Michelangelo or something like that. Van Gogh, man. Van Gogh is... Motorcycle boo boo. Boo boo. So, my motorcycle just tipped over, and while I was getting gas, and uh, it fell down my leg and did that to it. Oh man, you know, the shit is kind of painful. So, lo and behold, I see a couple yellow bananas up there. I only got three groups out here right now. But I don't know if you can see it. Let me get back here. Oh, hey. Okay, there you go. You see that yellow bananas right there? See that little bit of yellow right there? It's time. Trying to get those off of there, clean them up. Yup. So. That's what I'm getting it ready to do. You know, I like this shirt, you know, I have from Kalana Shipyard because it got all this on the back from where I used to work. But man, look where the bananas hit it and they just turn it like that. I was wearing this shirt. I had just found it and uh, the bananas are just, the, the juice from there will just stain it like that and ruin them forever. So one of my favorite shirts, you know, like a safety shirt, it's bright. I messed it up. And it is a work shirt though, so. So we're gonna get busy, work on this banana tree. You know, the stalk, like I said before, you know, it never has a banana again on that stalk, only on the other stalks. Actually, another stalk on the same group, like that stalk right there, that fat one, is the one that's ready right there. And then right behind that, it's another group of bananas. It's this skinnier stalk right here. So. I'll be cutting this fat one right now. So here we go around the banana bush. I'm gonna work on it. Get it done. Otherwise the bats will eat my bananas. Can't let them get all the way yellow on the tree, on the stalk. Ow. You can see on my leg, I don't know, you can see that that good. But look at that. Oh my gosh. A motorcycle fell on my leg. Huh. Just this one. See, I'm just gonna try to miss this and this tree. Because that's future bananas. But it's leaning so much that way. It's gonna be hard to miss them.
down on top of me, bro. Oh, man. All right, bananas. <laughs> Banana rama. Banana. So now the challenge is getting the stalk out of here and getting it down there so it can be mulched and eventually turn into dirt and vitamins for the soil be needed around here. I don't know how I'm going to get it out of there. I'm going to try. Looks like I did pretty good. Save the knees. I decided to go down my concrete path. Thing hurts, man. So now I've got the main stalk here. I'll have to go get the uh, top part of it. I see it's getting on my path here, overgrown. The weeds are the only thing that grow right now. <laughs> so I have to clear the path here. Recently, I cleared the path over that way. It's a frog. Oh, he's got a black back. What's wrong, buddy? Why well, you got a black back? You must have got burnt in the fire, huh? But you survived. You're a survivor. So I just saw this, you know, that's from the banana heart peeling back. So 
so I didn't even realize it, but I got another stalk of bananas right there. Brand new. See the banana heart is still there. So you can eat that. They make banana heart adobo out of that. So this is some fresh little bananas right there. Ha! Wow! That makes three stalks that were on this group right here. Because there's another kind of gangly looking stalk. I just cut one. And then I got a, the biggest one is over there on the other side of the stumps. See that? But they're not turning yellow yet, so that's the, the mother load over there. <laughs> so let's get rid of this here. Whew. Hopefully it's not as heavy as that last one. <laughs> I think I just go in the yard with this one. This was the stalk right next to the bananas I just did. It fell down. See, see how it fell down, fell over. Right, I just cut that stalk right next door to it yesterday. Down in there. Ah. These bananas are not ready. I'm just gonna leave it like that until they turn some yellow on them. Wow, oh, man. I don't know, that one is kind of yellow right there. If you notice that one. You know, if there's any damage to the banana, like it gets a cut in it, it will start to turn yellow too. Dang. 